And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Joining us now is Dr. Jeffrey Dukas with Andrew Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center. And he's here today to explain how you can treat your own damaged joints with your own body's stem cells. So welcome to you first. Thanks, Nicole. Happy what to is, be here. I'm glad you're here because it's an interesting topic. You know, you hear a lot about it. There's a lot of publicity on it. How does it work, though? Biologics is this kind of uh, new, but not so new thing. You know, we've always had the ability to use our body's own uh, biology in some ways, you know, stem cells are the cells that haven't decided what they're going to be yet. So yeah. a couple of years ago, somebody smarter than me figured out how to, <laughs> how to harvest those things and, and spin them down and get them in a, in a concentrated way from bone marrow and, and from other ways. So okay. in, in today's world, we can use the patient's own bone marrow to harvest the cells from the iliac wing, the, the wing bone of the pelvis right over here where your belt rests. Yeah. You know, just the, just the wing bone of the pelvis and then we can spin it in a centrifuge and get it down to a smaller concentrate and then inject those cells anywhere we want in the body, really. So for things like knee arthritis, other joint arthritis, we can put them there. Um, what we can't do at this point is tell them what to do. So we can't make those cells do something we want them to do. We rely on their innate ability and what they were born to do. Uh, but so far, that's that seemed to be pretty productive. So for somebody like me or somebody else out there watching who's had multiple knee surgeries over the years, who at mm -hmm. some point, I'm sure I'll, I'm, I already have arthritis, but I'm sure I'll have it more. Would that be beneficial to somebody like me where I could get this injected or? It could be. And, and that's the best advice we can give you at this point is that it, it could be. We don't have long-term data. It, it's, it's relatively harmless because it's your own stuff. We're not yeah. doing anything to it. It's not going to create any kind of reaction. You can't be allergic to it because it's you. Yeah. Uh, but these cells do have the ability to build things. They can make tissue. Is this the orthopedic fountain of youth? Are we dialing the clock back 30 years? Yeah. I don't think so. But just from a success rate standpoint in people with moderate to severe arthritis, we're seeing in the 85% range of people that even at a year out are telling us that they feel terrific. And I don't know that we can explain that by saying that it's making a huge amount of tissue. Maybe it's just making a film or a layer, mm -hmm. but that may be enough to start the process. Maybe 10 years from now, that'll be a thicker layer. Mm -hmm. And we just have only been doing it for two and a half years, so we just don't know yet, but positive so far. So two and a half years to this point. To this point. And so this would be something that really, you obviously work with a lot of athletes. This would be something that athletes to senior citizens and kind of everybody in between could utilize. Absolutely. And we're utilizing it for things that don't want to heal very well. So things like meniscus tears, you know, the healing rate of meniscus yeah. isn't that great. Labrum tears, uh, torn UCL ligaments in the elbow of throwers, mm -hmm. things that don't necessarily have a great healing rate. If we apply these biologic additives, the healing rate tends to improve. So we're applying it not just to people with arthritis, which is a degenerative process, you know, and people who tend to be a little older or at least middle age, mm -hmm. but post-traumatic stuff, people that have had injuries, people that are trying to heal from, from an injury that may or may not be surgically the best outcome, something like a meniscus, which if you, if you sew it together, mm -hmm. maybe has a 75 or 80% chance of healing if you apply a biologic maybe we're getting into the 90 plus percent range and we, we will know that and have that data in the next 12 months or so. Now tell me this, does, is it painful and how does it work? Is it an outpatient procedure? Does somebody come into Andrew Sports Medicine and get it done right on the spot? We don't. We do them in an operating room because we rely on a little bit of light anesthesia. We don't put people to sleep completely. It's not like doing surgery. Okay. We give them a little conscious sedation as something similar to having a a, a procedure at an outpatient surgery center, colonoscopy, or same same kind of anesthesia. Okay. It's basically a, a light sedative. Yeah. And we harvest, it's just a needle stick to take the stem cells, to okay. take the bone marrow. And then it spins for about 15 minutes and we inject it with just a needle stick. So it's really just two needle sticks. Wow. So pain wise, it really is not painful and people don't tell us that it's painful. Okay. People don't require pain medicine from this typically. Um, and then we tend to tell them if it's a weight bearing joint to kind of baby it a little bit for about 10 days just to give the cells a chance to adhere. So we're not doing them in the office just because we want to give them a I little understand. bit of anesthesia. Now if people want to learn more about what you guys are doing at Andrew Sports Medicine or maybe about this particular topic, how do they do so? We have a website, it's uh, www.andrewscenters.com and andrewsportsmedicine.com. Uh, you can see on the screen there and we have some features about all the physicians, a lot about the practice. Uh, some of the featured things that we've been doing, including the biologics uh, stuff, our, our team coverage. It, it is the season around here, so it's, it's mm -hmm. a busy time, but 
Um, we, we have a lot of great docs that do a lot of different things, ranging from most of the anatomic, through most of the anatomic areas of orthopedics. We have a great hand specialist, foot and ankle, hip, you know, all that stuff. So it's, we have a bunch of good docs that are doing some good things. AndrewSportsMedicine.com, the phone number also on your screen. If you've got questions, you can certainly call them. And uh, you better get back to work. I know it's busy football <laughs> season for you, right? It is. It is the season. Okay. Well, get back to work. Thanks so Thank much you. for sharing that with Thanks, us, Doctor. Thanks, Nicole. Appreciate it. Of Thanks course. for having me again. See you next time. Absolutely. More Talk of Alabama is headed your way.